People who wish to speak at San Diego County Board of Supervisors meetings from now on face new rules. The board voted to update public comment procedures. And the hope is to curb threatening or racist speech during those county meetings. Fox 5's Misha DeBono joins us live from downtown San Diego with what happened in the session today. Misha. Yeah, good afternoon. You know, as we learned last week, uh, Board Chair Nathan Fletcher said these procedures needed to be updated to bring some civility back to the meetings. Well, today was the first one, and jury is still out on whether or not it will work. Uh, there were not a lot of people there, but those that were there, uh, it was kind of the same fare, very um, combative and verbal. And two of the people who we hear from at almost every single meeting also showed up as well and had a lot to say at the end during public comment where they could speak for a little bit longer. But the board approved these um, new rules last week in a vote of three to one. And um, this was a special virtual meeting. Supervisor Jim Desmond, he did not vote. He was gone on vacation. Supervisor Joel Anderson, he actually voted against it as well. Uh, the board made the changes after a speaker at a meeting two weeks ago used racial slurs and verbally attacked County Public Health Officer Wilma Wooten after she gave a routine COVID-19 update. Now, in recent months, other speakers have used threatening or what's described as abusive language while criticizing the supervisors and county policies, especially as they relate to the pandemic. Jason Robo, he is the man who made these racist comments about Dr. Wooten. He says he is not racist. He was trying to make a larger point. I think that they used me as an excuse for them to inhibit the inconvenience of the public comment and they clearly don't listen to anything we've said and that's been you know part of why I say such outrageous things is uh, eventually I'm going to hit a nerve and so it, race apparently is the issue and I mean if I was outright racist I would have dropped an n-bomb. So coming up, we're going to hear from a woman named Audra. She also attends every single meeting. She speaks quite often. She becomes uh, very animated and she lets her opinion be known. You might not agree with what she has to say, but you'll get a better understanding about where she is coming from based on her own experience. And again, as I say, while you might not agree with what she says, you'll understand sort of why she does what she does and she says why she feels so passionate about it. We're also going to hear from the uh, county board as well. For now, though, we are live along the Embarcadero. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, hearing different perspectives. Uh, Misha, thank you very much.